Machine code is in binary, but binary is a little too unwieldy for us to use. We can instead opt to use groups of binary code to help simplify our work or better understand what part of hardware or software we are dealing with. Breaking up the bits into groups of three will give us two to the third bits of data to manipulate. This is the basis for octal, or base 8 number system, which we will get into later. In this video, we're going to look at groups of four bits. Two to the fourth power is 16, and so this number system is the hexadecimal, or base 16 number system. When counting in base 16, we are going to run out of decimal digits after 9. So instead, we begin using letters. After 9 comes A, then B, then C, then D, then E, and finally F. The decimal number 16 is 10 in hexadecimal, or we can call it hex for short. This chart shows the decimal, binary, and hex equivalent numbers. To show that a number is in hexadecimal, two different conventions are used. The first is to use a 16 subscript after the hex number. This is generally used for mathematical purposes. It is also convenient when doing conversions, because you can use a subscript for whatever base your number is in. 16 is for hexadecimal, 10 is for decimal numbers, 2 is for binary, and 8 is for octal. The second is far more prominent in computer programming and hardware. Before the hex number is a dollar sign. The dollar sign is the indicator that the number is in hex. Keep these two conventions in mind. Conversion between number systems is key in understanding them. If we want to convert a hex number to decimal, we use the same technique as when we convert binary to decimal. This time, however, we use base 16 instead of base 2. For instance, let's convert the hex number 2a to decimal. The rightmost digit, a, is a multiple of 16 to the 0 power, so we, de we need to know that a is 10. The left digit, 2, is a multiple of 16 to the power of 1, so this gives us 2 times 16 to the first plus 10 times 16 to the 0. Simplifying this, we have 32 plus 10, which makes 42. So the hexadecimal number 2a is the decimal number 42. It should be easy to see how we can fit a lot more data in a hexadecimal number system. Imagine how much data can be encoded when it comes to binary numbers. Now let's go backward and convert 42 into hex. Just like when we did decimal to binary, we're going to use repeated division. 42 divided by 16 is 2 with 10 left over. 2 divided by 16 is 0 with 2 left over. So there we go. 2 and 10. But the 10 is actually A. The last division is the most significant so it is the first digit and we have 2a. Let's try one more. 3659. 3659 divided by 16 is 228 with 11 remainder. 228 divided by 16 is 14 with 4 remainder. 14 divided by 16 is 0 with 14 remainder. Now 14 is E and 11 is B. So the hexadecimal number is E4B. Now you're probably using a calculator to speed up your work. And so it's likely you get a decimal instead of a remainder. But that's not a problem. Just multiply the decimal portion by 16 to find what the remainder is. So when we divided 3,659 by 16, a calculator spits out 228.6875 times 16 is 11. So there's a little trick on how to get those remainders. Decimal to hex and hex to decimal is a little unwieldy. Fortunately, that's not what makes using hex so fantastic. 
It's the conversion between binary and hexadecimal that makes it so useful. Because 16 is 2 to the 4th power, a binary number can be broken up into groups of 4 bits, where each group represents a hex digit. Here is a 16-bit binary number. We have it split into groups of four, so there are four groups of four. Each group is its own hex digit, one to F. The first is the decimal number six, which is the same as hex. The second is 14, which is hex E. The third is one, and the fourth is nine. So the hexadecimal number is 6E19. Going from hex to binary is just as easy. Remember, each hex digit is a group of four bits. So, FF5A is another 16-bit binary number. In decimal, F is 15, 5 is 5, and A is 10. Just convert those into binary and we have our answer. 15 in binary is 1111. So that's the first two groups of digits. Next, we have 5, which in binary is 0101. Last is 10, which in binary is 1010. And there we have it. The hex number FF5A in binary. A lot of people like to use this as an intermediate step for converting hex to decimal. Instead of using expanded form with base 16s, convert to binary first and then convert the binary to decimal. Whatever's easiest for you to remember. So there's a quick intro to hexadecimal numbers and how to do conversions. Work with these enough and the hex to decimal and decimal to hex conversions will become second nature. But the first step is committing to memory the decimal equivalents for A through F. Now next up, I'm going to show you a real-world application of hex in which we track down a fault in a digital circuit. Then we'll do some basic addition and subtraction with hex numbers. Until next time.